Tech's Tip of the Week, sponsored by Ford Motor Company. This week we're talking about glassing and stalking for mule deer in open desert country. Um, I really like to do this type of hunting with a partner. Um, you flip a coin or uh, whoever glasses the first deer gets the first stalk and uh, you just take turns back and forth because uh, the, the system that we like to use for glassing and stalking one we like first we'd like to do is hike in early early in the morning uh, even in dark get to a high point that you can glass a lot of country um, a really good set of binoculars is key here we like to use the Swarovski 15 by 56 these things are worth their weight in diamonds they're uh, they're an amazing tool crystal clear can see in very low light and for very long distances um, and that's important good set of binoculars and a really nice light yet sturdy um, tripod and something that uh, articulates real well because when you're sitting on a rocky cliff you want it to be able to adjust or have as many adjustments on your tripod as possible the system we like to use once we've spotted a deer and you've decided who gets to go for it um, is I like to use radios. Uh, some people frown upon it, um, but if it's legal in your state, I say why not? Well, it's legal here in Arizona. We use these, uh, I have a, a Midland GXT650. It's a nice, uh, clean radio. It's got, uh, it's light. It doesn't use battery power up that much, so um, it, you'll get a lot of life out of the batteries. And it comes with a, an option for an earpiece, an earpiece with a microphone that's close to your mouth. And I think that's very important. Um, you still have to push the button here to talk, but that microphone is a lot closer to your mouth so you can actually whisper. And that's important because um, when you're getting closer and closer to your quarry, you obviously don't want to be talking very loud. And if the guy, it's very easy for you to get frustrated because if the guy you're talking to on the other hand, other end can't hear you, you start getting aggravated and talking louder, then <laughs> you're probably going to bust bust the deer up. So we use this. One guy sits back with the glasses and uh, you plan your stalk. You get down there, he'll continue to communicate with you and let them know what you're doing. It's, um, it's a really good tool because they you have somebody keeping a bird's eye view for you and it's it's paramount to know what those deer are doing because mule deer they move around a lot uh, I mean they can feed <laughs> they'll feed in circles sometimes and depending on the time of year uh, I like to hunt in January during the rut uh, the bucks are pushing those does around all over the place so they may not be where you saw them so it's real important to close a lot of distance as fast as you can and once you get in within 150 200 yards um, and obviously still out of sight you know you could begin a slower stalk and to have somebody telling you what those deer are doing uh, if they're looking in your direction if uh, if they're feeding if they have their heads up if they're moving um, and he can also guide you as to picking a, a route as to which way you want to put a stalk on it um, since I've started using this, I've only adapted this uh, two years ago uh, after having hunted with a very, very successful uh, mule deer hunter here in the valley. And ever since then, I've been successful. And I gauge my success on how many stalks I've been on and how close I've gotten, how many opportunities I've gotten. Um, the population of deer here in Arizona is very, very small. However, we do have very, very good deer. Um, we, have, we grow some monster muleys here, but their population is really small, so you don't get quite as many stalks as you would in at, at like Wyoming or South Dakota or uh, Colorado, where, where the deer populations are much larger. Um, so you can, you know, have your your success is more more based on. Uh, how many stalks you do as opposed to how quality the stalks are. So this is a really good tool. Use it in the field. 
um, check with your local laws and stuff because there are some states that don't allow that. Um, but here in Arizona it's allowed and we use it. It's a great tool. We'll see you out in the field.